So it's been a while, but I did something cool. And So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is my Siberian Tiger coffee mug. They're pretty. They're pretty. Anyway, in our Siberian Tiger mug is the Ahmed tea, rose hip and hibiscus ch and cherry tea. This is from an old Sip Spy. This is the last one of these, so I'm hoping that it's going to be strong enough. I used a smaller mug, so hopefully it'll be strong enough. Let's go ahead and give this a sip, and we will go ahead and get started. Not getting much scent. Did you know what these videos are doing? Yeah. Yeah. And we're starting to get some flavor. Hopefully our 15 minutes of fame will just let it go and steep and it'll be good when it's done. So as I mentioned in uh, the very first sort of would I buy it kind of video, basically it's new, would it do? Would I be interested in it essentially is what I was going for. Uh, there was one product in there that I was like, I really gotta know. So I ended up getting some Moira and I ended up getting something from Lorella that will come up in another video but and I use those things I shouldn't say but I use those things to create this look so if you're interested in what was in the bag and in the box and creating this look in what is bound to be another very long video for which I apologize uh, well if you're interested just keep on watching so let's start with our Moira package first. It looks like an Ipsy bag. My daughter saw it and said, what, you got your Ipsy bag already? No, it's from Moira. That is very pretty. I love that, that's very pretty. Anyway, so as you all know, in our first ever Would I Buy It video, I mentioned a product that I decided I was interested in. And at the time I said, I'll wait. Kinda need to wait, kinda needed to wait. Um, I didn't wait. <laughs> I should have waited, but I didn't wait. And of course, we all know I'm not going to pay shipping on just one item. So we've got a few things here to try out. So I didn't know, I have no idea when, but Moira came out with Complete Wear Foundation, weightless, full coverage, ultra long wear. There's the packaging. This is in 300 nude, which I'm hoping that this glid is not. <laughs> not the arbiter of because if it is it's really yellow no it's not okay 300 nude there is it's been a while since I've tried a foundation it okay it's in glass and it it'll hopefully it'll oxidize and look okay but it is the, a neutral and it says it is weightless uh, complete coverage Long wear, long wear, waterproof, and weightless foundation. We're gonna have two waterproof things on today. <laughs> if anything gets through my makeup <laughs> when we're done, uh, weightless foundation for naturally balanced, even skin like pigment tone, complete with a smooth matte finish. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan of matte, I much prefer a more satin, realistic, skin like appearance, but we'll, we'll deal. Well, deal. <laughs> um, has hydrating ingredients to prevent dryness and retain moisture. Collagen and vitamin E helps improve skin elasticity and protect against damaging free radicals. So that's a lot. So there it is on the skin. Oh, that's not going to be too bad. I don't think. Oh, she is a little light. Well, hopefully, like I said, it will, um, well, it is oxidizing a little bit already. So we'll see. It doesn't want to come off. <laughs> That's funny. I just started to put it on. 
Okay, I got off here, but I, I wasn't padding at it. Anyway, so we're going to try that today and see how we like it. It is more expensive than my uh, Essence, so I wouldn't plan on me wanting to buy it like a lot unless it's absolutely amazing despite being matte. All right, next in the line I have the Precision Brow Pencil. I actually bought two brow products. We're going to try them both. This is in the color Espresso. You know, it's going to be a standard brow pencil, right? So yeah, it's a standard brow, brow pencil. Um, when it has your spoolie. And then there is the pencil part. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. She's a bit hard. And I'm having to work to get that color on there. And it is, for espresso, it's kind of light. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to try this on one brow. I know that sounds strange. But we're also going to try their Define and Sculpt Brow Pomade. Also in, oh, this one's in Deep Espresso. <laughs> Not just Espresso, it's in Deep Espresso. She says getting a little concerned. <laughs> Their idea of espresso and my idea of espresso may be two different things. Theirs is a little red, at least in the pencil. All right, so there's that packaging. That's a good color. Give me a second. All right, so it's a little on the hard side. Oh, but it came up nice. That's going to work. So we'll put this on the other brow, and you all can tell me which one seems to work better when we do that. All right, so the next two items, I'm going to go ahead and get this other one. There was a nice little lid thing in there that I put down. So I'm also going to try their Volume and Long Lash Mascara. Um, this looks smaller than some of the other ones I've gotten in the past. Really hoping this brush does not annoy me. This is in the color... Well, it's 01, volume and long lash. <laughs> so I'm assuming black. So we will see if it does both of the things. Uh, I will use my usual, well, no, we'll go without that time. I usually put a primer on my lashes, but I mean, the best way to see what this does is to do it without the primer, right? All righty, all righty, here we go. Oh, I can live with that. I like, I like that kind of, it's a, a fluffy brush, it's not. It's not a plastic brush, it's got this thinly hair thing. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then the one item that we all were talking about, and I had people go, yeah, that sounds really interesting. We have the Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder, which, um, yeah, waterproof. Waterproof powder. I have to see how this is going to work. I do. I got mine in the color 400. They have several different shades. Open says me. I'm not. Even after doing that, it said no. Alrighty. Alrighty. And I do like this pretty pattern on the top, although that's obviously going to disappear once we use it. The packaging so far is really nice. Why are you attached? There we go. So there's that. She looks a touch light. Oh, that's just so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that pattern. It is very neat. That is very soft. Yes, it is a little bit light, but I mean, you can't see it on there. I didn't put a lot on, but we're gonna try that out. Now, what does it say on the back of this? The Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder is a refined waterproof and oil control setting powder for a natural matte flawless finish. Hydrophobic formula uses innovative coating technology with microspheres to create a silky smooth texture, blur pores, and imperfections. It does contain silica, which helps control oil. All right, so it's supposed to control oil, provide a matte, matte canvas, a matte final face, uh, it's supposed to blur impact, uh, blur pores and imperfections. 
and it's supposed to be waterproof. This is going to be interesting, folks. <laughs> I am very, very, definitely very curious about all of these. So I actually was completely unaware that Moira had come out with a, a uh, foundation. So here's hoping it deepens up enough that I don't look like a ghost. Right? Okay, so now we are going to open the Lorella. I ordered two items to qualify for after pay. So, but it feels like they sent more. This is a big box for the two things I ordered. All right, Lorella fam, they put a little pink sticker on. Let's open her up. No, there's only two items in here. You guys are trying to, to... No, there is a third item. I didn't... What? I didn't... What? They sending gifties! I don't mind getting gifties. Alright, alright. So the giftie first... Oh, wow, that package is big. I have to keep setting that back there. The giftie is... What is this? What are you? Facial exfoliator is a tool. I guess you use it when you're doing your... Uh, oh, it's kind of cute. This is the facial exfoliator, and then there's the other side. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one, folks. <laughs> oh, no. I can see why they would say that. It's interesting, and it has a kitty face. Anyway, I I um I think though. Oh, what is inside here? Is there something else? In, no, that's a sponge that's attached to the whole thing. I guess you get your put your soap on the sponge, and then you can just yeah. Um, however, I have an exfoli facial exfoliator that I really like from Equal Tools. So this is gonna probably be the very first item for my Project Beauty Share box for this year. Or the next three years, however long it takes to finally ship the damn thing out. Because we all know I I'm terrible at shipping things. That's why I don't run contests anymore. It took me forever to get stuff out. I have something that I was supposed to ship two years ago. So just, um, just, um, we're just, um, I'm just, um, we're gonna, um. All right, so the extra item I got to get the extra shipping uh, to get my, excuse me, to get my afterpay was this cold as ice set. Um, I wasn't going to try these, but these were on sale because cold as ice, you can see they were for Christmas. So they were trying to get rid of their, um, their excess. Um, and I know I love this. Look at that. It's a nice, oh, that's a nice box to keep things in. That is really neat how they did that. I will say some of these brands just like, we're gonna make this packaging, packaging not only pretty, but functional. Anyway, these are like jelly shadows or something and don't wanna come out of the box. It doesn't wanna come out of the box. Seriously, are you supposed to, just, oh, you're supposed to keep them in the box? Okay. So this color is icy and then we got Bish and Lula. So here is Icy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I might be looking at more of these if I can get them to work on my eyes without driving me absolutely. I could see, hold on. You know what? Hold on. I still got shit on my finger. Oh, man. All right. I don't know, I don't like doing that. So, it is not picking up on the sponge tip. Oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, so you can pick up some on the brush, sort of. And you can spread it with the brush. Wow. God, guys, <laughs> I'm like flipping here. These are pretty. 
Oh, it doesn't want to go away. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I might not need the other palette. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, so that was icy. I'm sitting here playing with this shit and I've got more stuff to do. Yes, this is going to be another long video. Can you tell? <sighs> Anyway, the next one is called Bish. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Don't do that. Okay, so we're going to grab a little bit of Bish. Just going to go ahead and go with the finger. Oh, my Lord. This is Lorella, and this is, last I checked, it was still on sale. They had a couple of others. Uh, sets as well and they don't like coming off that's just I still have the shimmer oh my god <laughs> that is gorgeous and I forgot what these are called but I will list them down below um I will list them down below that's beautiful uh let us hope that I can actually work with these even though I can't use this, let's hope that they work fairly well with a brush um, because that's beautiful. That's beautiful. This is the their new Mariposa palette. It's brand new. It The colors just made me go, yes, yes, yes. Y'all ready? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a 20 pan palette, which is a little high for me, but oh my God, <gasps> I so want to play. The only thing that's not in here that I was kind of hoping would be in here is a red and that I, you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> I will wear my red shirt <laughs> when I'm done and be happy because I'm fine with that. That is gorgeous. And I've enjoyed Lorella's quality in their shadows before. I'm not going to swatch this before I use it. We're just going to go ahead and use it because this is going to be a very long video. Um, it already took me this long to get through this. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to go ahead and take a quick break to go and deal with uh, getting the stuff on so we can get started. I'm going to start with this color Caterpillar in the below my brow. For newbies here, I start top down, lightest to darkest, usually. There are times when I don't do it that way, but it's not often. This just seems to be my preferred way of doing stuff. I am starting in the crease and moving up to put the darkest part of that color in the crease and to lighten it up near the top. Yeah, this is already not disappointing. Light colors like this are difficult for me, but that is showing up just beautifully. Just beautifully. Just beautifully. I'm gonna grab some of this nectar and put that, I'm gonna start at the brow and move down to lighten up a bit more near the top. I'm using the same brush and I'm going light just to add some brightness near the top. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that sheen, but that is pretty. That is pretty. Okay, so we're going to use this uh, Luxy brush. It, it, it could have been a Alamar brush, but it's a Luxy brush. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to put that silver in our inner corner. The moolah, the moolah that's in here. That is so freaking gorgeous. Um, here is hoping that this picks up well enough that I can just put it on my eye without having to use my fingers because that is, I, I, I just, I don't know. I just can't, <laughs> I can swatch, but I just can't, I just can't. Where did I put my, all my stuff? Here we go. 
So I'm going to use my small mirror. Got a little bit on here. We may have to do some grabbing and packing. She's there. But yeah, I'm going to have to keep grabbing a bit more. I really do wish it would pick up on the sponge tip. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of work with the um with a good firm packing brush like this. I'm going to get more of these. <laughs> I would never imagine that I'd be like, yes, give me the cream or liquid shadows, but I'm going to get more of these. <laughs> I mean, they have several of them and they are just, this is just, look at this. Oh my God. I will say though, I mean, if you don't want to have to fight this, ColourPop has a color called um, On a Whimsy, I believe, that is a beautiful silver that is just about as good. It's my favorite silver um, in a uh, pressed chowder, powder um, shimmer. It's a, it's a gorgeous silver, and uh, but this is amazing. That's just beautiful. All right, so this is going to take me a few minutes. On the other side, I'll be back. So two things about this. I uh, One, it does have a little bit of tiny amount of fallout. Uh, I suspect that's because I'm using a brush and not my finger. And two, when you do use a brush, um, they are buildable. I noticed that they looked a bit uh, transparent on the first layer, so I added a second layer, and it worked just fine. That is, they're gorgeous. These are I want more of these. I want more of these. I should get my daughter, uh, my daughter, this particular, this set in particular. I think she would appreciate it too. That silver is just, it's amazing. That's amazing. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Where do I put this while I try to move on? Um, <laughs> I mean, seriously, guys, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so we're going to go back in this palette. I'm going to try to move on. Don't try to move on. <laughs> All right, so both purples in here are mattes. Interesting. I'm gonna try this Mariposa in the middle. I am gonna try this Mariposa without a sprayed brush first and see what happens. I mean, usually we end up spraying the brush or end up using a, a sponge tip because we like the shine. But let's give this a try and see what happens. The Mariposa is coming up on the brush nicely. I would say this is pretty close to Nomad quality in terms of how they come up on the brush. Oh my lord, that is a beautiful color. But, especially where it's crossing over the, the silver, because I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of going over that edge. So one of the things I do to try to blend the two color edges without having to go over it and re-blend. But let's try it with, um, let's see how much better it comes up when I dampen the brush with some setting spray. We always check these things out. And then we'll probably check it with the sponge anyway, just because I'm weird that way. Um, anyway, going back in here and grabbing some more and see what kind of, that's definitely sticking better. These are beautiful. Oh, yes. I, I honestly don't think I'm going to need the sponge tip for this. Look at that. Look at that. Actually... I'm gonna take that color all the way over. That's beautiful. I'm gonna take some of this in above 
this silver. I'm using the edge of my brush and running that along the edge. Should create basically a faux cut crease. And they said, yeah, 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 whoa. It's a busy night tonight, folks. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay, I will be right back. I am going to grab this color Vibrant. It's a matte. Like I said, we use that for the wings, and then we will darken up with the, this black. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with this blue fly, see how that does, and then if it doesn't seem to do anything, we'll go with the black. That's what we'll do. I don't know where this came from. Oh, okay. So, grabbing. I have more brushes down here than I need. So I'm gonna grab this big brush. I'm gonna grab some of this matte vibrant. I'm being careful with how much I put on here. And then we're just gonna go. And hopefully it'll build up a bit. There we go. Purples are one of those difficult colors wherein it almost always shows up lighter on when in use than in the pan, and that's what it's doing here. But sometimes they can show up so light, it seems like they don't have any pigmentation. And this one is just doing fine. And I don't want to do too much of it. just want to get enough in there. We aren't going to do the whole round thing. I'm just going to go up here. Make sure all of that, that one is nice. And like I said, we'll use the blue for the rest of that. I'm patting things in to get that edge. Blend this out a little bit over the top. Just a little bit so they merge a bit and that's no surprise honestly uh, their mats are pretty pigmented and very blendable and this one was very buildable I could probably put more on there and get it even deeper but I like it where it's at and I am gonna try to grab some of this beautiful blue fly and see how that works and it's actually a good color because there's something else I'm going to be playing with today that um, I picked up a while back and while I like another color in the item I haven't tried this particular one this is picking up beautifully on this corner brush from uh, complex culture right CC CC this is their easy crease definer and it's in the shape of a triangle which makes indeed an easy crease definer Oh, that blue is going to be just fine. I might throw a little bit of black in the um, corner. I am finding her a little bit harder to blend out a bit to work into the purple. So I'm going to take the opposite side of the brush that hasn't been used. And I'm going to try to buff it out a bit, get it to work into the purple that's nearby, just a little bit. She is determined to stay aligned. She took a bit to buff out, but she works. All right, get the other side, as always. So during that break, I went ahead and I added just the tiniest bit of that black, just in a little V right here. I repaired this side a little bit. You will notice that that silver is migrating upwards the way uh, shadows can do when you have hooded eyes like I do. Um, and I also went ahead and did my concealing stuff. So we are ready to try this foundation. Um, 
as I shuffle things out of my way. Get out of my way. I am going to use this Loella brush, which I used with the Lis or Lise, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, a serum foundation. I did clean it off briefly with something and I've let it dry. It has dried. So there's very little of that foundation on here. Uh, so hopefully we will get a fairly pure, um, pure thing with this foundation. I, I am concerned about the color at this point though. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, we already shook it earlier. It says it is full coverage. We will find out. <laughs> my little my little bump will let me know. Um, okay, so I put about two and a half pumps down. We'll see how that works. <sighs> if I look crazy. <laughs> Actually, I need to do one more thing very quickly. Where are they? All right, so let's grab some of this foundation or most of this. Wow. That whole thing went into the brush and we are going to pat and pat and pat it's not looking nearly as bad there it is there she is she looks so light but she was neutral <laughs> press this in I would say she's on the fuller end of medium it's not full coverage I can still see my little um, mole or whatever it is down there it's just a little discoloration on my face that actually is <laughs> very useful for um, it's a circular discoloration that I've had on my face for ever in the day um, but anyway I can still see it so heavier end of full not everything is fully covered I mean, heavier end of medium. Not everything is fully covered up. Same with my shadows. If it was a fuller cover coverage, I think that this would be, you know, at least quite a bit lighter. I am still seeing some of the redness that comes along the bridge of my nose sometimes. So, I did add an extra layer and it did head more towards full, but it never, it didn't cover up completely. It is a thicker foundation than I'm used to working with. However, and it does, I would say, it does feel slightly heavier than say the uh, essence that I've been using lately, slightly heavier. For a matte, it actually does have a very nice finish that I'm hoping that the waterproof, like this is waterproof, that the waterproof um, um, powder doesn't um, disrupt. I'm, I'm really hoping that the two work together really well. Anyway, I hate to I hate to ruin their very pretty pattern. It's a gorgeous pattern, but let's go ahead and well, it came up on here. One thing that's nice about co compact powders is that they don't go everywhere. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I did not spray with my setting spray. I figure if we're gonna test this we're gonna test this the right way right it's still tacky okay how much of this stuff am I gonna need for this to not be tacky all I know that's the dampness there we go that's a lot of powder. And remember, it's been the pow the foundation has been sitting here for a few. There is still a very slight tackiness, mostly on my cheeks, which is weird, and on my chin, which is not. on my nose which is also not weird so um 
as you can see, I took quite a bit of that pattern down on the bottom end there. I hope you can see that. So that was quite a bit of use of powder. This may not be the most financially um, uh, inexpensive powder there is out there in terms of being something good. Uh, I'm not 100% mad at it though. I mean, the foundation is annoying me more than anything else right now. But let me take a look. It is, it, there is texture. Like I said, I did not use my setting spray. I, I mean, I used it uh, with my primer, but I did not put my setting spray over my uh, foundation and stuff like I normally would. And there is a shit ton of texture in here. Probably from how much, um, uh, powder I had to use to get this to dry down properly. My chin looks okay. My chin looks about normal. In between my brows is looking good though. So it's just down in this area right here where I'm seeing a great deal of texture, not a whole heck of a lot of blurring. So neither one of these products appear to blur really, uh, or they just blur in specific areas. Uh, this here is oily for me. This area is dry, so this this is kind of normal in this area. And this area tends to be somewhere between normal and oily. But like I said, this is dry, and up in my forehead tends to be normal. And I'm seeing a lot of um, lines up here. So uh, neither one of these did much in terms of blurring. Y'all know I have a shit ton of these, right? <laughs> Because I, I use a lot of setting spray. This is actually full of water. I went and rinsed this out so that the setting spray is not in there. And filled, well, not filled it, but got it pretty full with water. And then I spritzed it out in case any setting spray was in the sprayer. So. <laughs> I've never done something like this. I want to kind of keep it low. That way, if I have to repair anything, it's easier to repair, um, hopefully. Or can be hidden or something. All right, so we're gonna let that sit a minute, uh, about a minute, and I've, I've got a cloth to pat. Okay, so you all know I put some of that down on my neck, and I am patting some of that dampness away. We are getting some transfer, not unexpected. Just gonna let that sit, see what it does. <laughs> if anything, are you gonna do anything? Now, it might be water resistant, which means it might take the water a little bit to get in there. Okay, I got that pretty wet. I am not seeing anything. It looks the same, it just looks wet. Okay, there's a little breakdown happening in here. Right in here. I can see it getting lighter right in here. A little bit. I don't know if you can see it down there. But the rest of it is holding up. The rest of it is holding up. Which now brings me to part two of testing this out. I'm going to go like this. I am patting it down. There is a little bit, not a lot. And you can see where that is still broken up. I'm going to take this other side. And there's a little bit there. Just a tiny, tiny amount. To me, that would be normal anyway. All right, so now comes the other question. 
does this repair. I may have to add extra. Well, she's smudging into place. Mostly. There's still a little bit in there. Now, that is interesting. The one spot that I had trouble with, I have a little bit of an issue here on my nose. I don't know what's going on. Now, I know some of that discoloration is from some other stuff, but that repaired fairly well. Interesting. Uh, one other thing about this particular shade, this shade is uh, 300 New Beige. Um, that repaired fairly well. That's impressive. That works. Still feeling it on my nose. <laughs> A little more powder. All right, so we got to do brows and lashes and uh, eyelining. And for the eyelining, as you all recall, I tried the AOA uh, Arteza Arteza line eyeliner pens. I did try the purple. I love the purple. Uh, but when I was swatching them, the blue didn't come out so good. So we're going to try the blue and see how that looks. But first, we're going to do the brow thing. And we are going to start with our brow gel. We are going to start with the pencil. I'm trying to use the right side. And um, see how this looks. And I'm just going to zip through this. I'm going to do the pencil on one side, and then I'm going to do the pomade on the other. And when we get to the end of it, we'll take a look at it. brows will never be twins but um cheating I the uh I only needed that one for the entire brow on this side um I think they both look good I'm kind of surprised because I was pretty certain that this particular espresso was going to be too light from what I was seeing. However, it's doing fine. <laughs> it did fine. Um, I do think the pomade has a bit more coverage. You can see more of the holes in here and in here it just, yeah. So I just, I think for these two, it would just depend on your preference. Just would depend on your preference. All right, so I'm gonna go and take care of my eyelining. You guys don't need to watch that. We can come back and I can tell you whether or not it worked. So I did get the blue to work. You can see it down there. The issue I'm having is that as a blue, it's more of a sapphire. It's not dark enough. I had some issues getting in here, so I just left it alone. I did my wing a little differently. Just did the little corner. I didn't do the whole part of the wing. I just left it open. Um, so in the future, it applied as well as anything else, uh, uh, the other purple one that I use, um, but it's the color. It's the color. It's not really a blue blue. It's more of a sapphire blue, which is a bit light for most of the looks that I do. I suppose I could use it if I had somewhat a somewhat lighter, neutral, or more look, and then I could put the blue over it, but I don't see myself using or buying the blue one much after this. So. Uh, it's it's not as good to me as the purple, which has a really nice, beautiful, rich pigment, but it's not horrible. It's, it's, 
I'd rather use my melts, I think, at this point. So now we are going to get to the mascara. <sighs> Has anybody else got their fingers crossed for this mascara? Because I do. <laughs> right now I need something that's not. The irritation on the face is going down just a little bit, but I can still feel it on my nose, and that's just... <sighs> Sorry, don't mean to bump you guys. Trying not to bump you guys. You guys are going to get in my corner because I have to get in here. <sighs> In fact, it looks like you guys got moved around a bit anyway <laughs> through the process of all this. Anyway, so let us begin. say that it actually did fairly well it just seemed like a struggle it's a dry formula I'm gonna say right now it's a very dry formula and dry formulas have nowhere to go when when they start getting older because mascara starts to dry out as you use it it always starts off kind of dry now I'm not saying I would want it to be really really wet I actually don't like them really really wet but they need to be wetter than this um, I do think it did really good on this eye. This is my problem eye. Most mascaras have issue with this eye. I think it did less well on this eye than most mascaras that I fight with. And I really struggled to get it to do anything on my lower lash line. So, um, not a favorite, not a favorite. Um, so far, I think the best thing out of the bunch is the pomade. At any rate, I am gonna go finish the rest of my face and then we'll be back with the final look and we will actually talk a bit more about the products. We've talked about them through the thing, but you know, I gotta talk some more. It's just my thing. At any rate, I'm, I'll be right back. So this is our look for the night. The hair is being something and that's, I'm, I'm actually in the happiest piece about the hair. But here is our look, completed. We're not getting any of I'm feeling anyway we will discuss that in just a second all right so this is our look I will say the eyeshadow the um, they're called <sighs> diamond diamond shadows from Lorella I'm not seeing anything going out of there but we'll talk about more of that a bit all right so the first thing is the uh, foundation I am still feeling this on my nose <laughs> and it has gotten smaller, <laughs> that, that sensation of it on my face. The area that that's covering has gotten smaller as the time has gone on. And it's quite possible it will go away. Not guaranteed. Um, however, there. well, let's go ahead with some of the good stuff. The finish is nice for a matte finish. I will say that. Uh, I don't think it blurs, uh, but the finish is nice. Uh, the color is just... A hair off and unfortunately I don't think I could go in and find um, a, a, the shade a slightly deeper shade if I really wanted to even if I really wanted to because there's only 15 shades of this which is kind of disappointing uh, but it is not full coverage like it says uh, my little thing here is still visible which means it's probably on the heavier end of medium lighter end of full so the coverage isn't right it is feeling a little bit it's dried down when I touch it so that's not a problem we saw that there's not a whole lot of um, transfer when you press against it uh, it does appear to be it and the powder both appear to be at least water resistant if not fully waterproof um, we did see some breaking up down in here when I did the wet thing, uh, but I feel it on my face. <laughs> and there's not a lot of shades, and um, I don't know. I, I'm i gonna play around with it. 
I'm going to play around with it and uh, we will see if, uh, if I can find a way to use it. Maybe it'll mix well with something. Uh, I did use my Lise or Liss um, serum, serum primer that I got recently. Uh, I did use that, so it's a different primer than usual, so maybe the primer will make a difference. There are quite a few foundations that are primer fussy, so it might be primer fussy. However, like I said, the shade range is just shit. <laughs> There's 15 shades, I'm sorry. You need at least seven or eight shades more than that. And they need a few more in the deep. They only had two in the deep end, so um, not overly impressed. I'm going to try to use it. We'll see what happens. I mean, if nothing else, like maybe I can pass on my daughter because I think she might, she might actually fit this color better than I do. But I am going to play with it at first. I'm a little bit okay. The powder. Uh, I actually like the powder. I don't think it did much in terms of blurring. Uh, and I had to use a lot of it. Yeah, no, there is a lot of texture on my skin. And um, I don't think it did much in blurring. However, I do think it did help with the waterproofing part of it. So if you're interested in that, it's a touch light for me, so it didn't really help this foundation. This is something that would be easy to use with my regular uh, foundations that would darken enough that this would not be a big deal. Um, but uh, it, this, this particular one is a touch light for me. There is only like four five or six shades in this too, uh, but that makes sense. It's a setting powder. It's setting powder should just set. It's, it, it's kind of like a BB cream. It should go over a number of different shades in the area. I do think they could have done a little bit more if they were going to make this with shades, but most people make their setting powders with, you know, three or four. They have one that's translucent, then they have a light, they might have a medium, and then they'll have, maybe they'll have a deep. Um, this one has more than that which was nice to see. I am struggling with this old phone. Um, yeah, they've got one deep, one like medium deep or deep on the deeper end of medium, two in the middle, and then two on the lighter end. So they kind of, one of those uh, deeps is not very deep. And I think I would have to go to the 400. Uh, I don't think it's fully waterproof. I do think it is fairly water resistant. As I said, we had problems here. Although I think that was mostly the foundation breaking up at that point. So um, water resistant. They both say waterproof, water resistant. Don't go swimming in them. <laughs> uh, the brows. I have to say I'm really kind of surprised about the pencil. Um, when I tested on my hand when we opened it, I was really expecting this to be difficult and to not have much color. Comparatively, it is lighter than what I did with the uh, pomade. However, that's it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I can go ahead and use this up and I would have no problem with it. Uh, the pomade is something I'm impressed. Um, didn't take much to go over it. It was smooth. I, it felt a little... Not hard, but not necessarily really soft when I initially put my brush in there. But it was, it obviously it took it did a good job. So we're we're fine. Uh, I like this. If I were to buy either one of these again, probably this. And mostly that's because you know pomades actually save you a bit on money. Pencils tend to be more expensive in the long run. So. The mascara. The mascara is too dry. I'm just going to say that right now. That's the biggest problem with it. And I did struggle to get it to work on my left eye, which is, I have problems with the left eye. I do not why, know why my left eye has to be so, so, just whatever it's trying to be. But it is. <laughs> and uh, it has, it's harder to get those lashes to go longer. It's harder to get those lashes to curl up. Um, so, this did not do well on my left eye. It, it ran into all those problems and couldn't seem to overcome them very well. So it is dry, which is a problem as it dries out, as it gets used, unfortunately. Um, not something I would repurchase, honestly. I, I don't even need to. I will try to use it up like everything else. Mascaras are expensive, so you want to try to use them up. But it's not something I would repurchase anytime soon. All right, the Lorella stuff. So the Mariposa palette, um, 
I'm not unhappy with it. I'm, I'm, the colors are gorgeous. I will say they're soft. As you can see, there's crumbling in that corner. I did, hey, 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 hey. It's having problems because the, the backing is light. Uh, but I did have some problems with that uh, shadow starting to uh, flake a bit on the um, in the pan. So you do want to be careful with that. Obviously, the coloration is very good. Um, but I am not surprised by that. I will say that, um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm not surprised I'm happy with this. I'm, there are no disappointments here at all. Um, highly recommend it. It's brand new. Uh, the Cold as Ice Kit. I really wish the pots came out of the box. The box is cute, okay? But I really need the pots to come out of the box. This is not how I store things. I do not have space to store things like this. So I really wish they had made this so that you could just pull these pots right out. As it is, I'm going to want to get them out there at some point and I'm going to need to tear up the packaging, which is sad because it's pretty packaging and it's packaging I can see myself keeping for something else. That said, amazing. <laughs> Y'all know I don't go for cream shadows at all and these are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I'm going to have to, I've been keeping the little things on there because the stuff is on the lid. I'm going to have to flake some of that off into there, but they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And like I said just a minute ago, it is, um, they are apparently holding up to my eyes, which I'm really impressed with. Never, I've, I, you know, I've used some other cream shadows before. Uh, they do tend to withstand my eyes. Um, uh, better than standard, uh, even standard shimmers. Uh, there are a few brands that have really good shimmers that also stand up to my eyes fairly well. But in general, I usually get a nice big hole in there and I'm having to uh, repair. And that can be kind of problematic for me. But... Uh, in general, these did these stood up better than anything I've used, even some other cream shadows that I have that are really, really nice. Uh, my only complaint, because other than the packaging, because you know, gotta have one. <laughs> we have to have some criticism, right? Right? So my only complaint is that um, they do not apply well with um, sponge tips, which I think would get a higher shine and they are brush fussy. So if you are someone who uses your fingers to do your makeup, you're not gonna have a problem with these. I don't like using fingers to do my makeup and that is my only issue, I don't. So I, I would really wish that these had um, less of a problem with brushes. That said, it did work when I found the right kind of brush and that would be the Luxie, like the packing brushes, the little, now I gotta go find it because I put it away. The little Luxie packing brushes. And of course this one's probably from Alamar. No, this one's from Luxie. <laughs> so these kind of little brushes where they're very stiff uh, seem to have better pickup. There is some uh, fallout. I found a great deal of silver glitter down here when I was done. And, uh, but it's not horrible and probably would not be an issue if you use your fingers. Like I said, I don't. So that's going to be an issue I'm going to have to deal with. However, all that said, I want more of these. These are beautiful and I want more. I want more. I can't afford more, but I want more. All right. So we're going to stop with that now. I'm being whiny. Uh, but uh, so overall, I think this actually ended up being a very decent haul, so to speak. Uh, there's some issues with the Moira stuff, but you know what? I have some a palette of theirs and their palette is pretty decent. They're somebody I would buy again, stuff again, and this is really nice. So, um, yeah. I'll, hopefully they, they will expand some of their ranges and stuff like that, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that they only have 15 shades of the, the foundation, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you think about these products. Oh, and I'm not using this, so I can't, I can't do anything with that. I'm, I just keep looking at it. It's sitting here on my desk, and I'm like, no, I can't.
I just can't. I, I have a, a scrubby thing that I like, so we'll stick with the scrubby thing that I like. Anyway, let me know down below if you are interested in any of these, if you think you're going to pick any of them up. I was going to say there was something else about the Lorella. The Lorella, I have the Rockin' Moroccan, and I think one other palette, that, but it's... Oof, it's mm. I've had a couple of them because I've gotten some of their mystery boxes. Uh, the Moroccan Moroccan, Moroccan Moroccan is on sale for $15 right now. I'd go ahead and pick that up. The Cold as Ice, and there's at least one other uh, box set like this, also from Christmas, that is also on sale. I would pick them up. I don't remember the prices. Uh, I will list them all down below, including the sale prices of the Rockin' Moroccan and everything else, and I will link those, even though we didn't use that today. Um, I'm really, I really like this palette. In the meantime, that is it for the day. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. When you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Currently upload three days a week, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. But occasionally, 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 we have a bonus video. Uh, we're not having so many right now, but we'll see how that goes in the future. If you want to know when the bonus videos goes up, you have to have that bell clicked. That's all there is to it. If you are part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, well, I would be sad and disappointed, but I would also understand. However, may I tempt you with food? Or my son opening his Geek Fuel t-shirt subscription? And, and, and a graphic novel subscription. Yes, indeedy. His dad decided to go ahead and pick that up. We are waiting for his first one. We are waiting for his next Geek Fuel, and we will go ahead and try to open those together. I don't know if they'll both be for August, but we're going to try both, both together. So his little videos have just expanded a little bit. So we would love to see you here. And we're always open to new ideas that are not going to make anybody, you know, question sanity around here. Oh, wait, too late for that. Anyway, moving on. So, if none of that tempts you, well, okay, I understand. They're, they may not be your cup of tea or your bag or whatever, but you are always welcome here. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, so this has managed to steep quite a bit <laughs> because I babbled and made mistakes. I do that. I babble a lot, and then you guys don't even know how much gets cut out of these things sometimes. <laughs> this is going to be a two and a half hour video that's going to be um, hopefully be under an hour. Not guaranteeing that. <laughs> Let's get the sip on this and get on our way. That's nice. Just a touch watered down, so I think it could have used a second bag but it's not bad. Would I repurchase it? Um, probably not. I, 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 the cherry comes up, which is really, really nice. That is tempting. That is really tempting because a cherry came up, but, um, um, you know what? I'm gonna have to say maybe because <laughs> the cherry came up really nice. It was very nice and clear in there. It's, it's actually a very beautiful cherry this. Uh, which sometimes when you get these fruit teas, cherry teas, mango teas, you don't taste the fruit that much. So it's really nice to have one where the fruit is actually coming through nice. Oh, I love, and I love cherries. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. At any rate, that's it. Hope you have a good one.